into the parasympathetic state. Oxytocin is great. It's yogis and mystics have oxytocin. In orgasm, there's oxytocin. It's a really, really good substance in the body. So when people don't breastfeed, they don't get that important education to learn to unwind from stress. A young infant breastfeeds for two years, they've learned when stress happens at different situations. There's, a, there's an anatomical response to shift from stress, from stress and tension into parasympathetic. It resets the nervous system. People who don't breastfeed go through life and they bump into one stress and they collect the situation, then they move on to the next situation, they collect more stress, ends up 20, 30, 40 years later, they get chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, they have major situations because their body needs to decompress. They need like a midlife breast, breastfeeding. This process is designed to unwind that condition, to return the body to homeostasis, and to retrain, recultivate the endocrine system and the nervous system to a parasympathetic state or relativity. There are so many conditions, if you simply unwind the adrenals, sacrum, the occipital ridge, you will shift the person, whether it's migraines, whether it's literally adrenaline is the biggest epidemic on this planet. Ep literally, adrenaline is the problem with everything. People are pumping so much adrenaline and cortisol, studies from the adrenals, when they're always on, on, off, on, off, it sets up a repetitive pattern. And when that happens, literally, you get ADD, you get all sorts of high blood pressure, you get diabetes. The, the, the stress and attention that the adrenals are putting off overwhelms the other glands in the body, the corresponding glands, prostate problems, menopausal problems. All the other glands then get sort of overpowered and they don't function the way they're designed. Glands all release in a cycle the hormones and substances that are essential for their function and that, that govern the area that they're in, the, the organs there, the plexus, and the larger relativity of the field of consciousness. So our goal here is to reorganize and retrain the central nervous system to be relaxed and at ease. Remember, I'm always watching the person that I'm working on. And if, you, if you're using the laser for your own situation, you always want to tune into how things are feeling. Does this feel good? Does this not feel good? There are a lot of different settings within the laser of different frequencies and wave formations. And you want to, my view is that when the body feels good and relaxes and sighs and opens up, it's resetting. You're clearing cell memories. Literally, the quantum technology, the scalar wave technology built into this laser affords us the opportunity to delete cell memory. This is literally a tool that works on the principle of being able to delete cell memory from the field. You can, on a quantum level, shift stuff out of existence, literally, because scalar waves are unified fields. So say you have an, in an infection, or say you have an emotional situation. By sending a unified field to that situation, you're encouraging that situation to return to its own essential state of balance. And the more that the body moves in that direction, in terms of the glands, in terms of the organs, in terms of the whole field experience, eventually the body starts to, to, to rest, to drop into that state. And eventually you start to live more in that state of unity field consciousness. So now we're going to have Lily turn over to her backside. There's another way to approach this same area, the occipital ridge. Um, Lily, we're going to have you turn over to your backside and slide towards your feet a little bit so your head is on the table. Okay. Also, this protocol is, is, we're going to go through a number of our other protocols in a moment. And the key, you'll see the laser light is a really a nice violet spectrum color, color light. Putting it right back here has a similar effect. It's actually probably a better area here to do it this way because it opens up the whole cranial base to reset. It opens up the atlas. It's really a, a great approach uh, when doing it this way. But we really unwound her quite a bit. So we're going to come over to this other side. And the next place we're going to go to is the thymus gland. The thymus gland is a key area. The basic essential protocol of our unwinding system is the sacrum, for, the adrenals first, then the sacrum, then the occipital ridge, and then the thymus. The thymus gland is the coordinating. If the adrenals are telling the cells always to go on and off, on and off, the thymus is telling the whole cellular field to open up into neutrality. It gives the signal for everything to open, to relax, to unify, to expand, and to neutralize. It also happens to be the key area in the anti-aging community for activating white blood cells, stem cells. It's the key area for, the, for the, a lot of the yogis and mystics because it opens up the heart chakra. It's really a very, very important area for, for so many different things, for pulling together so many of the systematic um, situations that are going on in the body. The other thing I want to discuss is that from this, unif this unwinding protocol, all of our other processes sort of take off from this primary place. So I always encourage people who get the laser, we discovered this process using it in our own body, in our own lives. I didn't breastfeed when I was younger, and my system was very tense and taut. 
unwinding really help to integrate? The more integration that occurs between the sympathetic and the parasympathetic, the more we're able to handle life and the stresses, the situations, and ultimately being who we really are as human beings on this planet. So it's so important when you get a laser to really spend a month or two. It took me almost two months to really unwind my central nervous system. My central nervous system was really tight. The more you unwind it, the more the cells open, the more thoughts and emotions integrate, and we start to manifest more from a unified sort of situation. This is the probe, the pulsar probe applicator that plugs into the mainframe laser system, the scalar wave laser system. There are three different probes, uh, pulsars. Uh, one is a violet laser, one's an infrared laser, and one's a red laser. And we use this on different points to stimulate cells. They're a little more higher powered lasers than in the handhelds. Very effective for unwinding. I'm doing a little TMJ unwinding right here using some key acupressure points, neuromuscular release points. They're also super effective for working on ear points. A lot of folks in the smoking cessation, cessation world stop smoking, use lasers on the ears and find it a very effective way to help people to stop smoking. I use it in sort of a unique fashion where I'll actually rub on different points. It comes from my background in body work and neuromuscular work where I actually work on some key points, applying a little bit of pressure and enabling the areas to sort of unwind. As the neuromuscular pressure points unwind, the, neuro, the fascia opens up and the energy opens up. It's a great tool to use on so many different things. You can also use this, a lot of acupuncturists in our network use them. There's some key acupuncture meridian points. There's a great facial acupressure facelift process that's in our manual that it walks through how to use it to tighten up lines on the face. Also super effective for, work, for using for weight loss. There's a number of great points for weight loss which stimulate the metabolism and the thyroid. It's also, it's also super effective on wrinkles. Fortunately, Lily doesn't have wrinkles, but it's very good on wrinkles and on blemishes and on all sorts of different skin situations. Younger folks have great results using lasers for acne. Pretty much light, cells love light. So anything that's going on can be benefited from laser light. The basic principle is that, again, uh, lasers donate photons and electrons, which also enhances the oxygen level in the cell. And basically, pathogens don't like oxygen. So the more oxygen there is, the more health, reju rejuvenation, and energy there is. This is a great tool that you can simply move around the body. You can use it on pain areas. There's a number of great acupressure, acupuncture detox protocols. It's really a fun tool. You can use this for anything. Whatever your creativity leads you to, you can use lasers. You can lose it, use it for alchemy. You can use it for all sorts of things. It's really a fun tool. So now I have the lasers on the ovaries, and this is a secondary sort of situation that I do often with women to unwind the ovaries if there's any stress there. It opens them up. For men, often we can do the prostate. There's a number of different ways we can go from this basic unwinding protocol. The unwinding protocol is the essential facet of the unified field laser protocol. The more we're unwound, things will reset, everything will start to come back to balance and neutrality. From the unified field protocol, in my view, there's no point in doing a lot of other things, whether it's for pain or injuries, facial rejuvenation. If the body is stressed, aging is gonna happen. If you unwind this situation, the cells will naturally bounce up and start to look good. Uh, whether you're doing acupuncture, whether you're doing chiropractic protocols, whether you're doing uh, sports medicine, doesn't matter. The more relaxed and at ease someone is, the faster the body is going to rejuvenate. So we'll go through later on a little more of the d other uh, secondary protocols that dovetail into this, but for now, that brings us to closure with the unified field unwinding process. Mm -hmm.